We finally got some huge news in Fortnite guys being V29.10 is around the corner. In-game collabs that were talked about previously are finally being introduced as well as a long time mode that we suspected was in the works. We now have some exclusive gameplay of it as well. So do stick around here until the end to not miss out. If you could be so kind as well guys to pop in code VYCG in the item shop, this does go a long way and it helps out the channel tremendously. So thank you guys so much. So the V29.10 update is going to be dropping officially next week and uh, being that's the first official update of the season. I'm basically going to say that fams because this update will in fact bring new cosmetics into the mix considering we have had a lot of cosmetics uh, from the survey and it's about time, you know, for those to actually pop in game. Some information on Midas guys, the Rise of Midas uh, LTM that's currently now available in game. The Midas tournament, which was recently announced, will take place on March 24th in which his main cosmetics will be free if you place high enough in that solo tournament. However guys, being that the tournament is in a few days, I've already made a video explaining all you need to know on the tournament, including information on the amount of points you'll likely need to get the skin. So guys, be sure to check that out right here. There's also information on a new UI system coming too. This new system, I'm afraid, will go live for UEFN first before it actually hits BR. And to be honest, it does go really well, if not hiding too much of the main screen. And I honestly think this will actually work, giving the community a little bit of chance to like adjust to it. There's also a new update, guys, coming to game as well. I'm not really sure out of all the four updates, or it's five updates uh, for the season when uh, this will actually be dropping. They're actually working on an update to decrease the size of loading times. As with the tweet said from Sheena VR on the Twitter, Fortnite is working on a minimal lobby feature that is basically said to be released in Q4 of 2024. It says reduce the size of the Fortnite download to make it faster for players to make it into Fortnite. So it's basically decreasing the size of the game or in a sense, compress it. Sheena continued and said, just like first person, I personally expect this to drop around the release of chapter six. So it's not really close guys in honesty. Now, given that other leakers actually suggested differently about a first person mode coming even this year, Hypex actually said all huge Fortnite announcements, first person is actually coming this year. Fall Guys will soon be playable in Fortnite and Battle Royale will be made in UEFN starting 2025. There's also some information on Ninjago coming very soon as well. And also Fortnite returns to iOS this year. So these are all huge information guys that was just dropped uh like once uh, i believe it was yesterday which is crazy now there was some information on the fortnite crew announcement for april if you guys haven't noticed the skin which is basically in game as an npc at the new poi on screen aries has officially been confirmed to be dropping as a crew skin for the month of april now it's not really confirmed of what other cosmetics he will be getting but i can assume he will be getting this new wrap as it was displayed on his gun uh or it is displayed on his gun when he's shooting at us uh, from the new POI. He'll likely get other cosmetics, including like a pickaxe and a bobbling, which I'm assuming it's his cape, but there's probably more stuff as well, guys, once uh, we officially get information from Epic. There's also another guy that is actually said to be coming back this season as well, and I'm thinking a lot of people have already lost hope of this skin coming back, given the fact uh, that it's actually missing from the item shop for 1,000 plus days. Now, from hearing me sing this, guys, you probably know the skin that I'm actually talking about, which is, in fact, Kratos and also the Leviathan Axe. Now, in my opinion, guys, this season is too perfect for Epic to not release uh, or return Kratos to the item shop. Plus, I think they should actually release an older version of the skin as well. Given the fact that it was when Kratos was younger, he actually defeated most of the younger gods uh, that's actually now in this Fortnite season. So bring the older version of Kratos back in the Atom Shop plus a new younger version as well. That would definitely go crazy for the season, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below on that as well. Now, as I talked about some information from at Hypix on a Twitter, guys, about Fortnite iOS returning this season, there is a huge, huge uh, stuff about that. She actually mentioned some stuff about it as well, and it says the United States has sued Apple, claiming they have an illegal monopoly on smartphones. So. This is, this is some huge information, guys, and Sheen actually continued and said in unrelated news, I have learned that Tim Sweeney has just opened a bottle of champagne and is currently dancing around in his room full of joy. <laughs> now, this is really funny, guys, but it is true because Tim Sweeney was one of those persons that was actually 
begging for this to happen, guys, considering Apple was acting as if they're untouchable. Now, for some information, guys, on first person mode, I believe there was a creative map that you could actually go into and see a first person mode for yourselves. But I think Epic actually disabled it because it was glitchy and all sorts of stuff happened in that map specifically. But guys, I actually had a video clip of how it would actually look in game, basically from a creative island perspective. Now, as you guys can see, this is basically how it will actually be looking once you like build and move towards with your guns and everything, which is pretty insane, not gonna lie. I think it is still in early development. That's why we haven't really heard any big news about it until uh, the recent leak by Hypix and other leakers. So once we do go further on up in the season, guys, and some other information or updates released, we will likely get some more information on it, guys. But for now, I think it's still in early stages. However, guys, with that being said, leave all your thoughts and opinions down below in today's video. Please do check out this video here on screen about some other information regarding the new update that's coming this season, guys, to V29.10. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Code VYCG in the Adam shop as well. And peace out.